and all my employees are warriors. I have paid for training classes for my employees. We have kettlebell classes that I paid for. We have martial arts classes that I paid for. It's a warrior company. We have our own shooting range. Cool Steel has its own shooting range. A lot of you guys don't know that. I'm more of a gun guy than I'm a knife guy. So we have our own shooting range every Sunday after church. We go shooting for five hours sometimes. So we love the NRA. These are all our people here. And all the people in here, these are my peeps, as they say. You guys, we love you because you have the same interests and the same um, cherished institutions that we do. We love the Second Amendment like we do. And what we're doing right now, though, is we're just warming up. So all I'm doing is bringing up my reflexes a little bit. And from just walking around, you know, walking around being a normal person, now I'm starting to ramp up a little bit. One of the cool things is Texas, and I love about Texas. It's really where the Bowie knife made its reputation. It started out in Louisiana, and then Bowie had the business to come to Texas and help you all with your independence. You died there at the Alamo for all of us. It's one of my, even though there's some faults in his personal character, like his mother said, he was brave. When she heard that Jim Bowie died, here's what she said. God bless her. I'll warn there were no wounds in his back. That's her reaction to her son's death. I'll warn there were no wounds in his back. I've always admired that, and I'd like to emulate that in my own life. And Texas gave us a Bowie knife, and from there, it went around the world and became a knife institution. Everybody in the world's heard about a Bowie knife. Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Most Bowie knives got a 10 inch to 12 inch blade. They have a long, narrow point like this, a clip point, if you will, so they're pointed. They're usually sharpened on this back edge right here. They're sharpened there. And bless their heart, they all have a guard. And the guard is one of the things that sets the Bowie knife apart from everything else. See that lock? You ever see that? I'll move around. When he cuts at me, I can lock him on my guard right there for a microsecond and dispel him if I want to. I can pick him up and move him. I can pick him up and move him off and turn him around. That guard allows me to do things that I couldn't do if it wasn't there. So the guard on the Bowie knife is one of the most essential attributes that it has. And all this came from Texas, which we thank all the Texans for. And you guys are the ones that spread it around the world. So now I'm going to show you how you can use a Bowie knife. First of all, it's a premier staff. And what's nice about a Bowie knife with plate is what most people don't realize is I can fight to my wrist. When I have a shorter knife, like this, if I have a tanto, it's got a seven inch blade, no guard. When he, when he cuts or stabs at me, I have to move. I have to move my whole body and I have to angle a lot. Because I have no guard. Even though I parried there a little bit, he could hit the tip of my thumb. It happened so fast you guys didn't see it. But I felt it. I picked it up with my blade, but a little bit of that tip came to hit me. So it's much harder to use a shorter knife. <laughs> but when I have a Bowie, I can just turn my wrist and move him out of the way. Also, it's strong enough that I can beat his knife right up with his hand sometimes. to get close. You see that? Go and I have a lot of respect for each other. And putting your hand into a wearing blender, if you know how to two knives. Most people don't know how to fight with two knives. It takes a lot of coordination. Because they'll feed you with one and cut you with the other one. So it all has to come out of conditioned reflex. One of my inspirations in my martial careers, we were down in the Santo. And he said the muscles get brains of their own. As you train incessantly, God made us in such a wonderful way. Your subconscious mind wrecks your muscles to operate without almost thought, any thought at all. I don't have to think what he did to do that. It just happens. It just happens. Whatever he does. I didn't think about any of those. I picked up all of those. They're not, they were not rehearsed. Those aren't coached. I just went in there and my kitchen reflex picks those up and it 
there I got cut. I saw in a microsecond, he went up, he went down. When he went up, I went outside, and I cut just the outside of his arm here, my way. That comes out of thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of knife fighting. So the Bowie knife is a quintessential American fighting knife. Step on up. We got a whole bunch of them here. We'd like to say it. We'll be back in about five minutes. <laughs>